In this demonstration, we will use the create shunt limits command to calculate the shunt point between the turnout and the rail center line. To do that, we'll go to geometry, turnouts, create shunt limits. Our available turnouts list should list all turnouts in our geometry project. We have two in this current one. Uh, to create the shunt limit for those, we can highlight one or all that we want to calculate and we enter in the value of the shunt limit. To verify what that value that the distance is representing, we can hit the help button here and in the help we can see that the shunt limit value there is going to be the distance from the center line uh, to the actual shunt limit. So when we hit apply on that box, we'll see successful completion and we will see that our shunt points are displayed out in our design. If we want to change how those points are displayed, we can go to geometry, turnouts, and display turnouts. And you can see we had shunt point turned on. That's why our points displayed automatically when we created it. If they did not display, we could come here, turn it on, double click to change the symbology. Perhaps we want to use a cyan color and change the type of symbol that's being displayed. We say OK on that and apply. Our two shunt points are displayed out in the design file and we'll see that, that is the point at which it's two meters from the center line of that track and two meters off of the turnout.